Hey folks, I recently made a Wii community post asking what you'd like to see me talk about and cover, and after reading through it I've been inspired to make some videos that I would have never even thought about making. So hats off to you guys for being so cool and inspirational. One suggestion that really grabbed my interest was this one from Hulkman245. What do I want to see in the next Zelda story? Specifically. Good question. What do I want to see in the next story to be specific? Link's parents? Story explanations? Well, for today's video, I've had a good think about some specific things I'd love to see in the next game's story. Be sure to go and grab yourself a snack and drink, folks. Subscribe if you're new for more fabulous Zelda content coming your way. Drop a cheeky wee like while you're at it, and let's get into this one. The first specific thing I'd like to see in the next game is different paths to follow in the story. Now, I don't mean choosing which order to do something in, like how we can choose which dungeons to do in whatever order we like. Rather, I mean a decision to be made at some point in the story. Do you save a certain character or not? Something like that. Depending on which path you follow, the story will develop differently. This is a very common part of games such as Skyrim and Fallout, shaping the adventure with your own decisions. However, considering that this is a Zelda game and they don't tend to really do this, I'd have these different paths inevitably lead to the same overall outcome for that part of the story, having no major effects on the story as a whole, just the ability to experience different sections of the story differently. For example, Imagine we had the option to take on a certain quest with the help of character A or character B. Each of them would take different approaches to how we do this quest. Character A would take us through a secret passage in the Lost Woods that only they know of, whether as character B would take us through the mountains with their extensive knowledge of how to traverse them, something character A doesn't possess. Both characters will help us to complete the quest, just in their own individual unique ways. 2. Maybe even 3, 4 or more potential paths for you to take in the story, that will all reach the same general overall outcome regardless just different ways of getting there. This would be a pretty cool blend of us shaping the story ourselves, whilst also still sticking to what makes a Zelda game a Zelda game. Now, something I would love to see in the next story was actually mentioned in the video suggestion comment, Link's parents appearing on screen. I don't necessarily mean physically in the flesh, though that would be really cool, but just generally, I want to see a lot more of Link's family tree, while sticking to what makes his family so interesting, the mystery. Link's family has always been very mysterious and mostly unknown. We have met some members such as his uncle, grandma and sister, as well as heard of others like his father and mother. What I want in this next story is a good lore dive, including details on his parents. And when I say details, I mean the hot a tea. We need some hints and rumours about his family to spiral into a massive questline where we seek out answers and learn lots about the hero's family throughout the course of the story. Maybe we begin alongside a little family such as Link's grandma or uncle, and sister like in past games. But throughout the course of the main story, we are actively learning about his family history, perhaps even to the point where we must seek out long lost relatives for information. Maybe there is lost information on what happened to Link's parents or where they are, and our quest here is to find out exactly what happened to them, or where they are. During this, we discover Link's lost family tree, and for the first time in the Zelda series, we'd have a well detailed in-game look at Link's family. The only thing I'm not too sure on is if I'd want his parents to appear in the flesh, as they never have. I'm not too sure, but generally speaking, I would love for an entire questline diving into the hero's family history and lore. Something a little different that I'd really love to see in the next game's story is a classic good character turned villain plot twist. It's an easy plot twist to pull off, but if anything, I think that would work really well in a Zelda game. And this could be anyone really, but ideally a main character in the story, perhaps a companion of some kind, which would also mean a return to Link having a companion. In the past we've seen the likes of Navi, Link's assigned fairy in Ocarina of Time, Midna, the Twilight Princess in Twilight Princess is funny enough, and even talking hats with the ability to shrink Link down to the size of a thumbtack, such as Ezlo in the Minish Cap. Companions are nothing new to the series, and I'd welcome the return of a sidekick to come along on the adventure, which would now be open world, so perhaps a companion isn't always by Link's side. 
maybe just for certain parts of the adventure, other times being optional. Regardless, I'd love to see us create a strong bond with someone, another knight perhaps, or a researcher who helps us traverse the land and overcome obstacles together, goes through tough times with the hero, helping each other through it all. Only for halfway through the story, they turn on Link turning our perspective on the game upside down. Shell-shocked and confused, we're face to face with our former companion, once friend, and now facing a new enemy. Perhaps they were an undercover minion of whatever great evil we'd be facing this time around, feeding information back to the big baddie of the game, or maybe leading Link in a certain direction for the big bad to come face to face with the hero themselves. I love a good plot twist, and this would be incredibly cool to see in a big open world Zelda adventure. There's so much that could be done with this idea, creatively speaking, and I'd love to see what the Zelda developers would come up with. This next one is something I feel a lot of fans want to see more of in the story, and that is more attention to the lore. As a general overall thing, more focus on Zelda lore would be pretty cool. Now, I'm not someone who causes a big fuss and throws a tantrum online over a lack of lore. Would I like more? Yes, always. But if it's not there, then it's just not there. I don't think having all the answers is good, but neither is having too little lore. What we need in my opinion is a good balance of lore and facts learned through the story, as well as gaps in unanswered areas that allow us as the player to get creative and think of our own theories and speculations. I really hope the next game includes more lore throughout the story, as it's a massive part of what makes Zelda games Zelda games, even more so when the game is a massive open world adventure. There's so much opportunity to create new lore and expand existing lore, all whilst leaving some things unanswered and up to us to try and figure out. One more thing I'd like to see as part of the next game's story is for the final boss, the big bad of the game, to have great character depth. I find that in most Zelda games we don't truly know the villain. Of course we get some origin story, and sometimes a wee bit more, but I've never felt like we get to know the character as much as we do the non-villains, and whilst that often adds to their personality, I'd quite like to know the final boss in the next game. For the sake of the video, let's say it's Ganondorf back again and ready to wreak havoc. I'd love for us to meet him multiple times throughout the adventure, close encounters and many battles as we progress through the story, but it's what would come with this that is truly what I want to see. I want flashbacks to his origins, not just what led up to the game's events but his personal details, what made him the way he is, key events throughout his life that led up to the events of the game. I want to learn details during our meetings and conversations with him, or with other evils that we face along the way. I want to know what shaped the villain of this next game in great detail, creating a very personal and real impression for the evil we're going to face, even if that means they were once good to some degree, but were turned. Make it emotional, sad, hard to take, and most importantly, make it Zelda. Make that final boss battle not only an epic challenge, but make it personal for Link. That is one specific story one of mine that I'd love to see happen in the next Legend of Zelda game. Thanks a ton for watching. What do you think of these ideas for the next Zelda story? And what are some of your specific ones? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed, then be sure to drop a wee like down below, as well as consider subscribing for more fabulous Zelda content coming your way. Both would be massively appreciated. As always, a massive thank you goes to my channel supporters across Patreon and YouTube memberships. Your support is an essential part of making these videos all the more possible, and I appreciate you all very much. If you'd like to help make these videos possible whilst getting some goodies such as my weekly inside scoop post, your name at the end of my videos, and a shout out upon joining, then check out the supporting links down in the description. My socials and Discord server can also be found down there if you want to drop me a follow. Thanks again for watching and taking the time to check out my video. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.